Y'all, welcome back to Harmon Homestead. It's a hot, muggy, starting to get cloudy Alabama afternoon. I just got back from the new house, renovating it, and I've got a video that will come out probably tomorrow with you guys on the master bathroom. So, I've been painting beadboard. Yes, I have. And I'm going to let y'all guess what colors. It's going to be radical desert looking. And um, maybe I'll give y'all a little tip right there. I still got paint on me. And yes, yes, I said colors. The bathroom is in two sections and it's going to be in multiple colors. So stay tuned for that. It may look crazy. I don't care. I want some color. I'm tired of the neutral farmhouse stuff. So welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, we have had a huge response this week where we have been, I have been telling people, hey, go get these seeds if you want to get a good buy from all different companies. We've talked about MI Gardener. I've ordered from there. We've talked about Roar Seeds, uh, High Mowing Organics, Seed Savers Exchange, all this. A lot of stuff going on sale right now that you can get for your fall garden. Well, I've got another one for you guys. I, all I'm trying to do, I'm not endorsed by any of these people. A lot of these companies I've never ordered from, but I will because I want to try different things this year and just different varieties that certain companies may not have. Roar Seeds, Roar, R-O-H-R-E-R, -E -R, it's a northern company. And they just, I got an alert yesterday and I should have done an email uh, alert to you guys, but I didn't. I just had a lot going on and I'll talk about some of that tomorrow. But they have put Amish Country Organics seeds on sale for 50% off. So what I'm seeing is a lot of the seeds are $1.50 each. Now it's not a lot, but it's your basics like lettuce, plain carrots, Detroit red beets, just your basic, basic stuff. But this may help some of you guys. If you can't get them from Dollar Tree, those those seeds work for me. If you can't get them anywhere else or if you miss out on another sale. Now, MI, MI Gardeners is $1.40. So, it's just, if you want some for $1.50, here's this website. Now, I think it only runs through tomorrow. So, go to Roar and then go to the 40% off. Click on it and at the very bottom, it'll have Amish Country for 50% off. And you can check that out. But what I do want to tell y'all that I found on this website a while ago, and I think I'm going to order this for myself. I think this seed starting tool will change your game on seed starting. I don't know how y'all buy your stuff or how you start it, your seeds. We start ours indoors. And what I have found that works the best are the little plastic bath cups. And I punch holes in them with a screwdriver and fill those up with seed starting mix. And then I save them year after year. They'll crack over time a little bit, but overall they're pretty doggone durable, especially if you use them multiple times a year, like for a spring garden, summer garden, fall garden, and you're, you're using those transplants. What they've got on this website on rower.com is an Eskert, maybe I'm saying that right, wooden seed cup starter. So what it is, is it's a wooden tool and it looks like a, a chess piece. And what you do is put it around newspaper and it hammers down and makes a perfect little newspaper seed starting cup. You can make these on your own. I've seen people do it. I just don't have the time. But if now, if I had that tool, I believe I would. Um, with the plastic bath cups, now they're food grade, okay? They're where you put like mouthwash in it and gargle for yourself. That's why I've always used them. But you do worry about plastic or if you worry about the environment you know, you've got it. Even though you're reusing it over and over, you're still buying plastic. The newspaper is great because you know it's biodegradable. Now, I don't know about the ink on it. That's that's something else, though. I don't know how, you know, safe ink is. You know, we could go down the rabbit hole with all this stuff, but I love the fact that you can get it. It's one and done. You make the little seed starting cup, and you transplant it out to the garden. You bury it in the dirt. It breaks down. It adds to your soil, and it's done. The only problem is, is you have to keep making those each time, but I think I'm going to do it. So if y'all have ever used a tool like that, let me know. And if you haven't, go check it out because I think I'm going to buy it this year. My concern with the newspaper seed start seed starting cups, when you water these, now I water my transplants with a, a turkey baster. I don't miss mine, none of that with a sprayer. I just water it a little bit or depending on how much I think it needs to get the soil damp. I don't know if the newspaper will hold up. So if y'all have done this, let me know. I do think this is good as far as sustainability to me. Anything wooden, a wooden tool, anything that could be reused, um, even if the price of plastic bath cups go up. You know, I don't know. I, to me, this just seems very good. It would be a good investment and it's, it's for 10 dollars 
Amazon's is 14 something and that's with Prime. I've got Prime, that's free shipping. I don't know how much rural shipping would be, but if you're ordering anyways, any of those seeds, 40% off, you could get this, okay? Um, I definitely, I'm gonna buy some seeds and I'm gonna get this too. I just wanna see how it works. I just think it's very, very good. Now, I don't know if y'all still buy a newspaper anymore. That's something you gotta think about. How how many newspapers would you have to buy? From what I saw on the reviews on Amazon, the Roar Seed website did not have any reviews. But Amazon said that you could get multiple, multiple, multiple out of just one sheet of paper. Now, a newspaper sheet's big, but still, you know, I, we don't get newspapers. We don't out here in the country. We just don't. Um, so you'd have to go buy that, but it'd probably be the cost of the plastic bath cups. Now, here's something else to think about, too. I upplant my transplants. So I start with the little bath cup and then they get honestly leggy and I'll plant them up to a red solo cup, a Dixie cup. And I just like it that way. You can bury them down deep. They'll put on roots. It'll fix the problem no matter what it is, except lettuce usually. Sometimes even lettuce you can fix. With this, you can't. It just makes that one size. But if they still got leggy, you still could go up to the plastic cup. But then that would defeat the purpose of bearing the, the little seed cup in the soil. Now, we don't have grow lights. I've tried those before. That to me is a waste. I will never recommend a grow light that's uh, like a clip-on grow light. You need actual hanging like shop lights with grow lights. That's what you need. You need the for real deal if you're going to use grow lights. I will not recommend those. I've tried them before and it just does not work. Um, so mine are all grown in front of a western facing window that gets sunlight, direct sunlight, only half the day. It gets indirect all day as long as there's sunlight so it you know it is what it is with these leggy seedlings but y'all let me know if y'all have used a tool like this to make these little paper seed starting cups and let me know if you've um just made them by hand and what you think i'll definitely be ordering it it's esker e-s-s-c-h-e-r-t is the name look it up on amazon too but you'll see it on the website go to gardening supplies on rower and then look at seed starting supplies and it'll pop up. It's you scroll just a little bit and there it is on the web page. And you know, it's worth a shot for ten ninety nine to me. It's worth it to see. So anyways, Amish Country Organics, fifty percent off, dollar fifty each, basic stuff, not a lot to choose from. Still got the forty percent off with high mowing organic seed savers. M I Gardener is forty percent off, a dollar forty each. Um now there's some more on rural like Annie's or Renee's Garden. I don't know why I said Annie's. <laughs> Renee's Garden. You got all those to choose from, and there'll be more coming up, and I'm going to keep doing these videos. That way, people don't spend a bunch of money in January trying to get a garden going, or in February when this stuff's not on sale. Now's the time to buy it. So, let's go get this tool, and let's, let's try this biodegradable stuff. Let's try it. All right, guys. We'll see you next time on Harmon Homestead.